Hi Techies. In this video, we are going to see about like what is the React Native new architecture is about. So the new architecture was introduced on uh, from the version 0 0.6 side and it's recently launched. So it has some new terminologies like JSI, Fabric, Turbo Module and also Code Gen. So before getting into that uh, terminologies, like let's have a look on this particular diagram. So this will give you some of the overview like what is the new architecture is all about. Let's move on to the, the first element is JSI. So before getting into the JSI, right, so what exactly the current architecture is doing it. So whenever there is a thread comes from JavaScript threads from the React Native and when it's going to the native uh, thread, so the conversion from the JavaScript thread to the native threads is happening in the current architecture by with the help of bridge. Literally, the what Bridge is doing is like it's trying to convert the JSON uh, or a JavaScript uh, thread language into a native thread language. That's happening asynchronously, and also it has some performance issue. Uh, the Bridge is taking some time to convert the JS thread into a native thread. To overcome that performance issue, they introduce the JavaScript interface. So the JSA library was uh, completely written in C++, and also it's completely decoupled from the JavaScript engine. So, um, and due to this one, uh, like uh, um, we can able to use a different flavor of JavaScript engines. So the next one is a Fabric, right? Fabric is a new rendering system. So before getting into the Fabric, we'll try to understand like what is the current architecture as. Right? In the current architecture, as we seen earlier, so the bridge is the one like which is going to translate uh, or interact between a JS thread and a native thread. So due to that, there is some slow transfer rate. So it's really impacting the performance of uh, some of the UI elements. Example, just scrolling, right? So when we are trying to scroll to any particular page, uh, if it is an hybrid app, that means if it is a reactive app, we, will, we won't get that smoothness like how we'll get it in the native applications. So to address those kind of the performance issues, they introduced the uh, new rendering system called Fabric. So in this Fabric, uh, the UI interaction is executed uh, synchronously and also like uh, the shadow tree will be immutable and shared between the JS and UI threads. So it's giving a more uh, performance uh, improvement on the UI thread uh, uh, as well as UI thread side. The next one is the turbo module. So before getting into the turbo module, like we'll try to understand like what is the existing architecture performance issue. So in the existing architecture, whenever you are launching the app, right, the app launches, all the modules are getting preloaded, even though that is required for the application or not. So due to that, like uh, it will take more time to launch the app compared to the native app, the React Native one. So that one is getting addressed in the new architecture. So what they are doing is like in the new architecture, they are trying to hold the reference of the module instead of loading the module and allowing them to load whenever is required. So due to this, like it will really help. It's really helping to improve the start time of the application. The next one is the code gen. The code gen is uh, nothing but like it will just give a compatibility between a JS thread and the native thread, and also uh, it will generate the native code uh, at the build time instead of the runtime, and also like it will helpful to define the elements used by the Turbo module and the Fabric module. So in this article, I just give some of the overview. If you want to get deeper into it, just go through this reference link where you can see like what is the prerequisites for the iOS and Android applications. And also like uh, you can able to see the migration guide like which will help you uh, move from the old architecture to the new architecture. So if you have any questions or any queries, uh, please feel free to post me in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. In, in the next video, we'll see some interesting topic or some interesting ideas in the next video. Thank you all.